In July this year, in a small West Sussex village, people woke up one morning to an unfamiliar sight. Their new neighbours, a group of Buddhist monks, on their arms round. But how is all this going to go down in West Sussex? For hundreds of years, Western Christians have exported their religion. Now, for the first time, the West is on the receiving end. This little hamlet is essentially, it's been steeped in religion for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, Christian religion. There's just a few people, but they all mind, they do mind terribly. I had a fit nearly when I seen them come down in the woods. Uh, I looked out as I was working, you know, and I, good Lord, what's this coming? I think this is the most remarkable uh, event <laughs> which this hall has ever seen. And uh, I'm quite prepared to believe that I shall wake up tomorrow and it's all free. The only reason people are asking you questions is pretty different. You come here, you're still in front of you. Don't all I've got to say is good luck to you. You can make a dull bit and get someone from up and throw it. Well, honestly, me. You know, the monks' way of meeting doubts that they were just another weird and possibly dangerous sect was to invite the local people to the sanctuary to take a look for themselves. One of the first visitors to the centre was Rear Admiral Shatter. He developed his meditation technique when he was Admiral commanding the Malayan area. I'm an occupational therapist. I was working in a psychiatric unit these people who had different kinds of emotional disturbance and I enjoyed the work but I felt that there was probably a better way to help people and that really I needed to learn a bit more about life and about myself. Through Buddhism I found out more or less or a little bit who I am and I'm still discovering how little I am. Buddha said don't believe in me, what I say. Just find out for yourself. Not believing or thinking it's this is or that this is. Stand on your own feet. Well, if it, if it hadn't been for this practice and this teaching, I would have been back in that house. You do some meditation. And you conduct yourself very mindfully and peacefully. You get insights into the way your own mind's going around in its own particular short circuits. The ultimate truth is like the flavor of an apple, which you can't see with the eye or hear with the ear. The only way to experience it is to put the teaching into practice. Once you've tasted it, you'll no longer be in any doubt about its flavor, and you won't have to ask anyone else. The problem will be solved.